starting for your hip abduction, you're going to be lying on your side with your pelvis uh, rotated and shoulders rotated forward facing the ground. Okay, your top leg is going to be the ankle and the leg itself is going to be behind your shoulder. So you're going to move it backwards behind you whilst maintaining the pelvis and the belly button facing the ground. The bottom knee is going to be bent as shown. You're going to preemptively squeeze your glute. Uh, that is your right buttock. And you're going to lift the leg in an up and back fashion. So it's going to go kind of up towards the corner of the room. With your uh, right hand, you're going to come to your iliac crest just here. And uh, you can do a couple things. One, you can palpate with your fingers into the buttock such that you may make sure that this is the primary activator of this exercise whilst also palpating the TFL or that front pocket muscle that would be more of a compensatory muscle. The other strategy that the body likes to use is the hiking of this pelvis such that you use your quadratus lumborum or your low back to lift the leg. So to prevent that, you're gonna squeeze buttock hard, keep the pelvis rotated forward, and then you're gonna lift the leg up and back towards me. Yep, and a little bit more up. And notice how the, the foot wants to turn up towards the ceiling. You wanna keep the foot like your belly button turned down towards the ground, because that's gonna allow you to for your glute to work against the vector of gravity a little bit more efficiently. That's looking really good and then you come back down. We spoke about the importance of isometric holds in order to kind of retrain the muscles of the, uh, of the glute and of the hip. Specifically holding for anywhere between 30 seconds would be a short-term goal, one minute would be a long-term goal against the resistance of the band. This being said, if at any time point during that 30 seconds or one minute you start to feel your TFL become more dominant than your glute, or the quadratus and born become more dominant than the glute, then the recommendation would be to come down, rest for a couple seconds before you go back into it. Uh, otherwise, we're just kind of reinforcing the compensatory pat muscle pattern that we've been trying to break. Yeah. So that looks really good.